What is up you guys? In this video we are going to be talking about the very best fish for raw feeding. So let's get started. Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Scott the Dog Dad and if this is your first time on the channel please click that subscribe button so that you don't miss future raw feeding videos. And really quickly, in the comment section below, let me know if you are feeding raw fish in your dog's fresh food diet right now, and if you are, what fish are you feeding? And also as a quick side note, this is my very first video with my brand new camera and microphone and lighting setup, so if you wouldn't mind, let me know in the comment section as well, what do you think about how the video looks and how the audio sounds. All right, so let's get to the topic of this video. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda clickbaited you on this one because it's not one of those there's the best kind of thing because it could come down to, you know, what are your sources? How accessible are these sources? How easy are these sources? Will your dog eat this? Will your dog not eat that? You know, it, there's so many variables and there's not really a best. So what I'm going to do is tell you what my favorite fish to feed is. Right now, my very favorite fish to feed is smelt. And there's a few reasons why. The first reason is that they are easy to find. It seems like they are everywhere. You can find them at ethnic markets, you can find them at even grocery stores these days, and you can definitely, definitely find them from just about every online raw food supplier that does whole foods and not just ground foods that I've been able to see, especially Raw Feeding Miami. And I'm only mentioning them specifically because they're the only company that I have used personally. So it's great, great, great accessibility. You can find it just about anywhere, or I guess I should say you can find them anywhere. Number two is their size. They're small. They are really, really easy to portion out and feed. You don't have this gigantic salmon or even something as big as a mackerel. They're these teeny tiny little fish, maybe two, three inches long, depending, sometimes four if it's a really big one, but they're really small fish, which makes them really easy to portion. Number three, they have a short lifespan. Now, if you've done any research into feeding uh, raw fish to your dogs, I'm sure that you've heard stuff about, you know, the waters are toxic, which they are, they're being more and more polluted, and all these different things, and all that's correct, which is why we want to feed fish that have short lifespans, and one of those fish is smelt. And I guess this is a good time to show you what smelt looks like, right? This is a picture of the smelt that I'm going to feed my dog horse tonight. Or maybe it's Wilkins. I don't know. It's somebody's fish, but it's going to be on the screen right now. Next on the list is cost. They are very inexpensive. You can get a very large bag of them for just a few dollars. And a full bag that's a couple of pounds will last my two German Shepherds for a few weeks because you don't need to feed a whole lot of it. So they are very inexpensive. And now on to the last thing and my favorite thing. My favorite thing about feeding smelt, because they are small, because they are easy to get a hold of, and they have been not really processed at all, is that they are whole fish. Why is that important? My favorite thing about smelt is that it is a whole fish. And why is that important? I'm almost nine years into raw feeding now. And the more I learn, the more that I talk to people, the more information that I absorb, something has become more and more obvious to me. Complete food systems serve you well. Complete whole foods, which is going to become a huge part, it is a huge part, of the new raw feeding model that I'm putting together right now. Now, after I release it, I'll put it in the description box below, but right now, as of the time of recording this video, it's not ready. But 
Complete food systems are critical because they are whole food systems. It's a complete food and fish is one of them. If you feed the whole fish, which you can do with smelt. And by complete and whole, I mean everything is there. You have the entire body, you have the brains, you have the eyes, you have the entire animal. So that is my favorite reason to feed smelt, is that it's a complete source, of, it's a complete food. It is everything. There are wolf packs that survive on almost exclusively fish. There are small additions to their diet, but for the most part, their main source of food is fish. It's a complete food system, which is so amazing to me to be able to pull out a little one ounce, two ounce smelt and feed that complete food system to my dogs as part of their meals. I'm giving them a complete food system I'm giving them all the omega-3s that they are needing. I mean, it's just an amazing, amazing fish in such a small little package. At this point, I think it's pretty obvious to you guys that I absolutely love and adore smelt. And if it's not obvious, I don't think that you're paying attention. I love smelt and I highly encourage you guys to look into adding it to your dog's diet. And if you want to learn more about raw feeding, get free resources, maybe set up a call with me or take the Raw Feeding 101 course, go to rawfeeding101.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go feed your dog some smelt, but most importantly, remember that you don't have to be perfect to be an amazing dog owner. You just have to do your best every day and try to improve as you go forward. Peace. Go watch another video.